What is LP? Life pods? Oh, you made it. Hi. Hello. Were you deliberately trying to slow me down? I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. Huh. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... <sighs> Never mind. Actually, Hungi, you 100% should go check out The Invincible on audiobook. Bet your keister that's what I'm gonna be doing after this. I have yet to understand if this is a, a recreation of the book or a, uh... Spherical thrower. anti -protons. Pre... Oh, it'll be hell. Rahitra! Here. Prequel. They got clipboards and paper! Oh, it's so quaint! It's so cute! It's so beautiful! Look how many goddamn, like, repeating panels they need! What are you waiting for? I'm sorry! I'm admiring the incredible beauty of the spaceship! This dude ain't doing too good. What's happening here? What's this? I'm probably gonna have to come over here, aren't I? Oh! Uh, uh, okay. That's the least graceful pose you could die in. Now that you're here, why don't you help me? Sure! With what? With the probes. You're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. I see them. Are you helping or not? Come on. Yes! Here. It's about to start. Yeah, let's destroy them. Wait any longer. Uh, all right. Have it you. Okay, I'm ready. Let's take out some some micro machines. I'm all for what am it. I looking at? It'll be uh, number five, a long range one. It sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. There's the Cyclops. Great. Okay, it's coming closer. Force field activation. Good. I confirm. Field active. The clouds within reach. I'm shooting. Get it. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's boiling over there. Oh, geez, I bet. Okay. All right. The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasna. It will uh, hold. There's a lot of bugs. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you. Okay, but what if they divert towards us now? Oh boy. Shit. I'm losing connection. Yeah, they're See doing anything? one big focused attack. Yes. They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Fucking shit. Well. They didn't like that very much. Look, they're propagating and they're getting smarter. That can't be good, right? Uh-oh. What was that? You tell me. Can't you see anything? Probes, yeah? The mid-range is dead. How about the long range? Uh, the long range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is... Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? It fired. It's it's sh It yes, shot down probes. The cloud... one. What? You said... Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. The circus must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. We gotta go, now man! It's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, d I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey, at least we still have the Invincible. Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. 
They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... Just hold on for a moment. I'll find out. Whose blood is that? Use the radio station? Where's the radio station? Oh, hey, excuse me, dude. I gotta use this real quick. Twisty Nobby. Uh, Twisty Nobby. There we go. Are you there? This is the commander of the IC Dragonfly unit, Astrogator Novel. I'm here, Astrogator. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. The Cyclops got out of control. What do you mean? Just like the other machines. Now, it'll wander around aimlessly. Or even worse. Intelligently. Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. Well, then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Yep. He's sending you over. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor. Oh, that's getting bigger. Please come in. Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. Oh my god. Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Sorry, I had to get a shot of that. It was beautiful All and horrifying. Chance. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> Playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right to- Is it coming towards us? I think it's coming towards us. We should- we should leave. Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have an answer, New Hitra. Please, just tell me straight. What do you want? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, plastic munitions? Nuclear bomb. Hydrogen. What? Nuclear bomb. Hitra, are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. Oh my god! Kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. That amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. We probably should do that I'm then. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? I think it is! Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use- It was out there before! Put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens. Okay, you, solid law. Yeah, survive. I'm on board. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. Nuke the flies. Let's do it. You would do anything for your crew. No, do it. Just do it. Not only do I understand you, I feel the same desire. But revenge is out. Why of the is it all? Why is this dialogue happening? Why? Bomb the flies! We are with creations of necro evolution, dead evolution, and probably non sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like 
Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. <laughs> While we express our suffering, rage, and frustration, we won't accomplish much. We won't harm it. We won't instill fear in it. We won't make it surrender. I'm going to destroy it, Yasna. Destroy it, and then destroy this planet! Exterminate every last piece of it. You were here, sir. And then put a beacon in this system, being like, hey, turn around and leave, because nothing good is here. are not our enemy at all. Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rehitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's oh, why they they're insects. Hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Ah, uh, 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 this one. They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So, uh, they see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's yep. why they're attacking us? Yep. Exactly. Wait. Wait! What species are you talking about? Are we freaking surrounded here? Various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other We are spending too much time creation. gabbing, and we need to be spending more time exploding these things. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. It's right in front of you, my we guy. Have an evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? A cyberneticist had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cravens monograph. I wouldn't know, sorry. Before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. Wait, did we discover these logs? I don't remember us discovering these logs. Heads. Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. Yes, let's have more discussion because the cloud's getting bigger anyways. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis 3. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do. Whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves. Or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? <laughs> to survive. Apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. Right. A common, finite resource. This is what I love okay, about, like, really classic sci-fi. Like, this is 1954, bigger, okay? Better. This this originally came out in 1954. The best. Sci-fi of the early, the earlier uh, uh, 20th century was in a whole new law, just a whole process gave rise to the cloud. different the latter started this bizarre genre way of thinking of metal structures resembling vegetation and it absolutely shaped the way we made our future and they're still growing no 
They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis Three. So these flies were just the best adapted? Basically. To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis Three. The local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them. <laughs> so yep. the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. Basically. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... That's a very familiar concept. Not even limited to robots. <laughs> oh, by the way, nuke them fucking now! Imagine defeating the cloud. But that's the thing. I doubt. It's invincible. Yes, sir. do you agree? Well, there's a lot of. Look, I don't normally say let's nuke things, Luvi, but in this case, let's nuke things and then run and then nuke them some more. There's a chance of success, but it's very small. If this is gonna work, the attack must be all out. What are you saying, Doctor? After a sufficiently powerful explosion, the ocean waters will begin to vaporize. Cloud cover will increase. The albedo will rise. And the resident symbionts won't be able to provide the minimum energy needed for reproduction. So they'll go into stasis. We can destroy the cloud. Ha! I knew it! Along with ourselves. Oh. <laughs> Boo! You don't think we can defeat them and survive? Technically, we'd have to wipe out the entire planet. That's not our goal here, is it? No, it's not. <sighs> but what else can we do? If run! Not attack. We run! We evacuate we from here! This place and never come back. How so? Your commander will swoop down from orbit and pick us up? What's wrong with, with the ship? ship up your sleeve? I'm afraid none of these. I was thinking about a saucer, or some other vehicle from the Condor. Why well, can't the Condor take yesterday. off? It's a miracle we arrived on that wreck of a saucer. Nothing else flies around here, I checked. Huh. I'm done. More heads are armed. One more press of a button, and there'll be no turning back. Um. So an option A or an option B situation, no option I C. Uh, that was close. I'm suspending all actions leading to conflict. But what should I do now? We no longer have any landers. So I hate to say it, but I can't help you. And believe me, I would like nothing better. <sighs> so we can't actually leave this place? Why can't we fly the Condor? Why can't we fly the Condor? I hit the nuke button. Let's send a message to the Invincible. A short report on the status of the crew. And on our... discoveries. You should also introduce yourself as a member of the Commonwealth. It's better not to hide it as it will only arouse suspicion. Don't worry about that, Novik. It's up to me to make sure they understand everything. Now, let me check on the guys. I want to make sure they're stable. I hope we'll speak again, Astro Gator. Well, until then, Rahitra. I'll join you soon. No hurry, Asna. Giant. Time. Death Cloud. So, he's gone. Doctor. He's gone. Yes, no. He's not here anymore. It was truly an honor. <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the right words. I know I couldn't keep my mouth shut. Sometimes. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm extremely grateful to you. You could have flown away so many times, yet you stayed with me until the end. Thank you. You shouldn't thank me. It was my bounden duty as commander. I mean, he left them armed, right? I could just, I could just do this. I could just do this. Please don't blame yourself anymore. There's no point. Now Coven and Crowter need you. Understood? Yes, Mom. 
Have a safe journey, Novik. Thank you, Yasa. And see you soon. Over and out. So what's next? Are you sure? Yeah. You look... <laughs> like shit. I know. You look good shaved, though. I'm really tired. That's what I meant to say. Because you're trying to be polite. The undeniable truth is, I look and feel like shit. <sighs> Will you close it for me? Yes. Oh, okay, I guess I'm just gonna do it. There you go. Get some sleep. Of course. I hope you. I hope you sleep well. If 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 not, I hope you are not awake to experience eternal suffering. Support and stimulants will help you. I won't sleep. I can't. I admit I would do the same in your place. Thinking about losing yourself, your memories, it scares me. But that doesn't mean I should help you hurt yourself. Primum non nature. You're not hurting me, Asta. You'll actually make sure I don't hurt myself. Like the dumbass I am. That's a strange feeling. Remaining conscious in the hibernator. <laughs> you clearly haven't visited the infirmary often. Wait, so you're just not even going to be... This is a standard procedure for a long recovery. Will you take another look at Landor and Spluskas? Sure. I'm doing it now. Don't worry. Thanks. Are you still wondering whether to go to the nest? This is probably your last. The chance. nest? If you want to make it before the invincible arrives, it would be good to have you here when they come. Uh, no, I'm I'm on board for this. Here and back will take you about twelve hours. No, I'm not going. I know it's a unique opportunity to get closer to this phenomenon, and I might never get another chance. How's that just floating there? I thought about it a lot, and I'd rather stay here with you. It's quite impressive the anti-level, uh, the the levitation technology they have. Their arrival. A few days later, Hungi, I want to live. I choose life. Mm -hmm, too heavy hands become. Mm -hmm. Down you go, oh bright sun. Night is not that scary. Oh, uh, the fuck was that? At last, they've arrived. Hey, don't, don't, don't land. Rahitra, do you hear? They're landing now. Rahitra? If he's dead, I'm, do I'm dead as well. That's... That's... Oh! Oh, that's an ending. Okay, is there other ending options? Can I talk him into being like, no, let's, let's fucking nuke him. I would like to see what... I would like to see that ending as well. I know... I know this is a good... This is a really good uh, ending in its own right. But I am definitely in the mood for a, a guilty pleasure ending. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack with this game, and oh my god, 11-Bit Studios, you did incredible.
you 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 really brought this world to life and oh it's so good it's so good thank you oh look at all these beautiful people who worked on this game bringing bringing an actual novel to an experience of life to to, to this to this new form of storytelling there's 11 there's 11 endings to this game? That's wild! Wow! I've got so much more to do, I guess. I definitely do want to see the nuke them ending, though. <laughs> Forgive me. I want to see the robots try to... I want to see them at least try to blow the robots up, even if it ends horrifically, you know? But, honestly, I, I chose what I felt was correct for the first ending. And that is surviving. Surviving to warn the threat of the rest of the universe and to maybe start making amends between the Alliance and the Commonwealth, you know? Okay. Uh... Continue? Let's see what happens if I select continue. Her hitter's out of shock, the cloud defeats the Cyclops. Press any button. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna kinda skip fast through this dialogue. I'm gonna try to see if I can steer towards the nuke them option. So Try that. Condor, are you there? This is the commander of the IC Dragonfly unit, Astrogator Novik. Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... You failed? Yep. Worse. The Cyclops got out of control and knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Hitra is planning now? Am I, I able to skip no most of this idea. dialogue? It'd be very nice. But then I need to talk to him. You, sir. Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. You should be able to hear Take you care, now. Zed. Sleep well. Yeah, we're well past our time, too, but this is worth it. Please talk. <laughs> Hello, This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly. I saw that! I repeat. This is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these Rohitra engineers? You were T-posing. I saw crew, it. I'm Can't hide that from me. Standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. That's why we need to change tactics. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I don't see how changing tactics in this situation would make any difference. I strongly disagree, Novik. All it takes is the right tool. Okay. Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity. Yes, 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 we've heard. Please, please, we've heard this so many times already. Every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no me what? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Yes. Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. Hell yeah. 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. No. Oh. That's quite an us. Over the top, I'd say. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. Nope, just let him. Start with. And then? We'll see. I ain't making him question that. I'm against escalating the conflict. Huh. So much for our groundbreaking cooperation. I didn't... Why do you jump to conclusions so quickly? 
How has it turned out for you so far? Clearly you lack tactical <laughs> experience. Save it, Novik. I don't need a lecture. This is my ship and my people. And it's my goddamn duty to avenge them. Period. Yasna, I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. So, this one? I understand, yes. Although it's hard to talk about revenge here. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Maybe I shouldn't have selected exactly. that. Like Xerxes. That's why I would consider this problem in the category of neutralization. Okay, Not okay. Vengeance. All right, we're fine. All, nothing guarantees the flies will stay on Regis 3 if they continue to evolve. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're talking. Even if they were to master space navigation, wouldn't it take hundreds of thousands of years? Millions of years, even, considering the evolutionary timeline. However, they could threaten humanity much sooner by sheer chance. Not a chance I'm willing to take. It's not over yet. If we factor in sheer chance, we might as well get killed by a meteor. I mean... No, Novik. It's not a meteor or an ocean or a storm. They don't hunt or degrade or cripple you mentally. You, Hitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't just let him talk it out. They operate without any strategic plan. Nukem? Nukem. They're non sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Oh boy, here's my here's my two cents. Okay, they're the enemies even if they don't know it. Sentient or not, they are the enemies of all protein life. Argo not wrong. Our enemies. Just like that. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Remember, this is not me. This is not my first choice, but this is I want to see it. Life. Before the cloud wipes out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. We did find those. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology. Not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? Oh, I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Our cyberneticist precursors had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cradle's monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Huh. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on the <laughs> three had no living beings on board. Huh. I catch the reference now, Einstein. Nicely caught. Nicely nicely done. Because uh, it wasn't, sense to me. wasn't the Invincible the, the four uh, leader in that... in that... thing? Or is that separate? There's no point in speculating, let's just go! I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. So it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? 
But that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well. Ah. Uh, we have to attack until we succeed. Actually, I don't. I think we should proceed with the attack. Even after everything you've learned, Doctor. After everything you've been through. Because of it, we have to destroy the cloud. Well, I still have significant concerns. It's pretty gray, right, Asuri? Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, indeed, Novik. I knew Yasna would understand. Now give me a minute. I'm almost done. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bomb them. We're gonna bomb we're gonna bomb the, the swarm of clouds. It's not gonna work, but we're gonna bomb the swarm of clouds. See these switches? The ones on the launch control unit. Yep. I see them. Yeah, I see. Do I use them to launch the rockets? Not yet. We use a button for that. Oh, a button. A red one. A big red one. Got it. Well, really, that's actually really cool, Einzimmer. Just one push. Push button. Let's go. Watch your eyes. Two. Holy shit. Wow. Redra, they're flying this way. What have you done? Well, bye. Astrogator, you must evacuate. Now. I'll... I'll join you later. Oh, uh, are you just gonna curl up and cry? So that's it for you, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, are you there? Oh, my legs are heavy. And Phil is not in frightening. <laughs> oh boy. Good Lord. Eleven endings. <laughs> well, friends, if you want to see any more of those endings, you're gonna to have to play this game for yourself. God, this is this is incredible. Already, this is 2024. This is this is one of the first games we played in 2024, and immediately this is gonna be standing up towards the top, towards like one of the favorite games I play this year. I promise you. God, this was good. Oh my god. Okay, all right. We've we've seen the credits. We we've seen the credits. But seriously, it is a walking sim. It is a walking sim, and to to many, not me, that can be kind of a bit of a dredge. But to me, a walking sim is just a visual novel. And if you treat the medium as as a, a whole experience then a walking simulator can tell a damn good story just like scorn scorn no words were spoken in scorn nothing was said in scorn it was a moment to moment experience without cutscenes without interludes it was just purely one moment to the next and that was an incredible story probably also one of my favorite games of all time Honoring H.R. Giger. And, and this... 
this honored uh, Sladislav Lem quite well, I would say. I, granted, I haven't read his works, but if nothing else, this has definitely inspired me to go check them out. So, yeah. Wow. 